Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we'll be going over how to get started with formulas in Notion if you're a beginner. And Notion actually just released a 2.0 update for their formulas and it's actually much easier than before. So we'd like to guide you through it and make it a bit less scary to use formulas while you're setting up your Notion pages and databases. So let's get started by opening an empty Notion page and feel free to follow along with this. So the easiest way to see formulas is in table view databases. So we're going to start by making a table view database. So type slash table and go to table view and plus new database. So at the moment we have two properties and for formulas to work, generally you need other properties that you can make formulas with. So let's actually go ahead and make a number property because this is where formulas are the most useful. So we'll make a number property here and we'll make another number property so we can make two. And then here we're going to start using formulas. So let's go to formula and edit. So now you'll see all of these options in formulas. And if you're a complete beginner, it can look kind of scary, the amount of options you have with Notion's formulas. But actually Notion guides you quite well in that it gives you some suggestions on what you can do with each property. So for example, if you have a name, it gives you some options that you could just put name and then it's going to return the name or you could add various things to the name. Uh, you can do tags, tags.length. So this would give you the number of tags you have. So let, let's actually show some of these first. So if we go to name and then we just put sample name and then here let's put tag one tag two, tag three, just so that we can show how to do some basic formulas with the properties we already have. So let's say we have name. If you just click name, it's going to return sample name. So that's pretty straightforward. And then let's say we choose something else. So if we took this suggestion name.styleb, let's see what happens it gets bolded. So this B is actually the style for making this into bold. And let's actually try this. Oh, this one we actually can't do because it's full name, which we, we don't really have. So um, yeah, so these are some suggestions that Notion gives already. And just by going through these, you can learn a lot. So if you start to see the patterns of what each thing does, then you'll start to gain an understanding. Like let's try tags and then it gives a suggestion tags.length. So we could actually just copy this and paste and it says three. So we have three tags. So tags.length just means the length of tags, which is you have three tags. So it can be quite straightforward when you think of it this way. So now let's actually just go look at number properties because this is where most people use formulas. And if we just take number, and then you can just use it like a math equation. So number divide by two. So right now we have no number, so it's gonna give zero, but let's say we put hundred. So it divided it by two. So this is just basic math that you can do. So you can also divide this number by the other number, the number one property, and you could do done. And let's say we put 10. So now it did the calculation here. So for example, this is useful if let's say you have a book template and you wanted to track the percentage that you've read a book based on the number of pages it has. So in that case, it would be your bookmark here and then number of pages here. So let's say that you had 300 pages in the book and let's say you're at page 100. So it's basically 100 out of 300. So this is already actually doing this calculation. So it's showing 0 0.333. 
So you finished a third of the book. And when you have a number that is the output, then you can actually change the way it's displayed. So you can go to edit property. And since this formula is returning a number, you can even show progress bars with percentages, for example, and so on. So this is quite useful. So now let's go back here. And if we just take bookmark, so if we took bookmark, you can also do various math equations with just bookmark, number of pages. You could add the two together. So having two number properties and then using them in formulas is one of the best ways to do, uh, to use Notion's formula property. So next, let's go and look into something that was just recently added with the 2.0 update. And that is actually that formulas can also do things with dates. So let's add a date property here. And let's say that this is the meeting date. And the meeting was on the 14th of September. And now you want to make a formula based on the meeting date. So now we see here some options that they give you. And this one seems very interesting because you can now add one week after the meeting date. So it's gonna, the output is gonna be one week after the meeting date. So let's actually try that. So if we go here, then meeting date dot date add one weeks, and it just added a week to the meeting date. So let's say that you just wanted to see when you need to follow up on this meeting, then you could just change this to follow up date. And this is a really good way to keep track of when you need to follow up on meeting dates. You could even add a year from this date and so forth. So this is very useful. And other things you can do with date is you can check if the meeting date is greater than now, for example. So that would be, is the meeting date in the farther future than now? Or you can do other things, meeting date and now, how many days is between the meeting date and now, things like that. So that's also very useful. So the main things, if you're a beginner, that I suggest you do is just to go through these properties and see what kind of options they give you and just try them out. And for beginners, the best things you can do is to use these number properties and then make formulas out of those. So that's a bas very basic way to use formulas that's still quite useful. And then the other thing to play around with would be the date property. Uh, the date property is really nice to use with formulas. So those two uh, we'd suggest for beginners. So those are our tips for how to get started with formulas in Notion. And let us know in the comment section if you have any thoughts, questions, or anything confusing that we discussed in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.